Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your WooCommerce products to your WhatsApp catalog using the WhatsApp Cloud API. So this integration is easy for your customers to browse and shop directly through their WhatsApp app. As a store admin, you will be able to view and manage these messages or orders using any cloud gateway services like Wati, WooSMS, Wallnotifier, etc. So guys, this is the catalog of our shop and this is the, our WhatsApp catalog. So the customers can see all our products which is available on our website. So the customers can just add all this product. By adding all these products manually, it is lot of takes lot of time and if there is a lot of product then it is impossible to add so this is the best way to add these products so the customers can directly take the product and they can check out on whatsapp so you can just note that and you can send the product and the customers can directly check out on our website also from by clicking on the link so they can directly check out from our website and the customers can add any type of products and any type of quantity like as you are seeing in the video so the customers can easily add all these products like this and they can view card and they can check out on the whatsapp itself so you can add the shipping charges and all these things extra so when you get an order you can replay them so you we are using the cloud api so you can't use this function uh, or you can view this message on your mobile phone okay okay guys this is our wordpress product uh, tab you can see all these products which is available now on our whatsapp catalog also to add this click on add new plugin click on add new plugin and you can install a free plugin product feed pro which is available on the WordPress directory. Click on install now. You can install this product, uh, install this plugin and you can activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, you can go to the plugin settings. You can see the plugin settings here. Click on the plugin settings. Now you can see all these settings if you want you can enable it but by default you don't need to do anything just go to the create feed section and here you can create a new feed so you can give a, a feed name and you can choose your country you can select your country from the drop down list and you can select uh, which pro, uh, Google Shopping, Meta, Facebook, so you can use the Meta Facebook and you can enable all these options and click on save and continue. Here you can use the values and all these things. By default you don't need to add or change anything but if there is brand is missing so I am just adding the SKU there. If you have brand option then you can add that it's easy now just click on save and now click on save mappings and click on next you can see all your categories here click on save mappings and you can go to the next step click on continue click on continue and you can generate the product feed Click on generate the product feed and now your product feed is ready. Now you can go to your Facebook page and you can create a Facebook page for your website. If it is already then just leave it that section. If you don't have a page you can create the page. I have already created a page so I am just go to the meta business suite. You can see here. Now go to the create a business portfolio section and you can create a business portfolio if you don't have. You can create a business portfolio. Click on create. You can add your name and your portfolio name and your email address and now just click on create. Once you created you can select your page there. 
you can just select that page and you can click on next the page which you created now you can see here so you can select that click on next that's only now you can just click on next and click on confirm and now your business portfolio is ready now click on all tools now there you can see the commerce section click on that commerce section now it will take you to a new window there you can add your catalog click on add catalog and you can see the window like this so you can see your catalog owner name which we created the business portfolio name you can see there and you can give a name for your catalog product click on next and click on next and you can set up the permissions and all these things you can set up here and you can connect to your data feed now you can go to your website and you can just get your feed url from your website now just click on the download option here and copy your feed url copy it and paste it on the facebook platform you can see here you can just paste it simply paste the link and click on next you can click on the next and it will take some time to upload so you can just change the currency here you can change the currency click on upload and you can see the name and if you want you can change all these things okay now just click on upload and wait for some time to get upload all this data okay once it is uploaded you it will take you to the commerce manager here you can see your products go to the item section and you can see the products click on the item section and now you can see all the products on your website which is available on the facebook platform okay you can see here all the products is available now go to the developers.facebook meta for developers you can go to there and you can create an app on my apps click on my apps and you can create a new app there click on create app and you can select your business portfolio there which we created is my shop and click on next and you can select other click on next and you can select the business and click on next and you can give a app name and other details like app contact email etc here and click on create app here you can see the whatsapp on the next window click on setup and here you can see your business portfolio if you have a lot of portfolios and then you can select your appropriate portfolio and select that and now you can see the whatsapp business platform api settings here click on there now you can see a temporary phone number or test number and you can add any number there to test or everything is working you can add your test number you can use your personal number or any business number you can use and you can test that click on next and you can click on send message once a message is sent to that number you can see the message something look like this and now your api is working and your whatsapp platform is okay now you can add your whatsapp business number okay so to add that you need to buy a new sim don't use the current sim or current whatsapp number use a new sim for that you can buy a new sim and use for this cloud api okay 
now you can give the business name country name and all these things as you are seeing in the video then you can use the whatsapp uh, business profile you can set up that you can add and click on next you can add your number here you can use this number can be used on your mobile phone okay so this is this can be used any type of cloud api services websites so like the one or uh, usms or one notifier etc you can use that now your number is added to your whatsapp cloud api service okay guys now you can go to the another option you can which is not mandatory for this but it's uh, optional for this service because uh, if you want to use the cloud api then you need to set up the payment settings click on add payment you can add the payment you can use your credit card i normally they only accept visa or mastercard you can add that after that you can get a business verification if your business is uh, registered you can use the business verification click on get started and you can complete all the business verification uh, you can choose what type of business and all these things you can choose from the list and is your business is officially registered then you can just select that option and you can complete all these details and you can use the email method you can select the recommended email method because they will send the otp to your email account okay guys once uh, it is completed they will review your application and they will verify your business it take two three business days and it will work it's uh, optional for this method for adding the whatsapp catalog we don't need this okay now go to the basic settings and now here you can add your app details like terms of service privacy url all these things and you can upload an icon image now when you are going to upload if you get this error you can open any other browser like mozilla firefox i'm using mozilla now i'm just uploading via mozilla firefox i am getting error on the google chrome so i'm just going to mozilla firefox and uploading the icon once i upload the icon i will be back to the mozilla uh, google chrome because i am getting error on this chrome okay if you are not uh, if you don't have any issue then you can continue on chrome once you are done that you can select the category your app category and click on save changes once you click on the save changes you can enable or make your app mode to live click on app mode to live as you can see here click on live now your app is live now you can go to your browser again i am going to chrome then you can use your cloud api here click on the configuration or api setup you can see the api setup here and you can go to the whatsapp business manager you can see here on the whatsapp manager window you can see here on the left hand side you can see the catalog option click on the catalog click on the catalog and you can choose a catalog now when you click on the catalog you can see the catalog products there click on connect catalog and now your all your woocommerce products is added here so you can show the catalog icon in chat header 
and if you want to disable this the add to basket option then you can disable that all this can be managed here okay guys now you can try that so this is for now thanks for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel Thank you.